Ordinary summary. Occurred town ordinary causing an object uh, object to power slide projector discovered dump sound. Okay, well. Whoa. Now here we go. Some more information. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. Hmm. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, we are observing and <laughs> influencing a complicated system in action. Somewhere out there, there's going to be a haunted PS4. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, hmm. a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. You know what I noticed? I'm seeing this, but the reels aren't turning. Jesse and me following the dung monkeys to the cave. What? There was a lot of them. More of the kids' town had joined up. It was really scary. The projector, and we ran. Turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand and heard it immediately. her immediately. She promised to help. Huh. This is interesting. Up, up, up. Up, oh, up, oh, okay. I think I just had an AWE. Stuff's happening, we're learning. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the corner and a bunch of these things are gonna appear. Oh, yep. Wait. Yep. There it is. Starting to get a little predictable. Ordinary AWE strange, uh, ordinary AWE stage four or two, whatever. Sled Hill Cave. Okay. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Colavon. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Aliens. Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darwin, he's out of the building today. He's never out. Even a lot of fun He never visits us, Mr. Roberts. Hmm. So tell Darwin it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. What will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not a single word, but that'll work. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Read it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None <laughs> of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions of can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we have a nosebleed needle. 
And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. Oh shit. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off, I don't know. There is no calendar. How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck Casper. Hey, 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 are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send the bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need <clears throat> He was mad. Just a little bit. Wow. Okay, well, gonna exercise this area. So let's continue on. Stage 1B. So Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog, and they said they found a dog kind of thing. That's fucked up. Second slide we called the Meadow. Except you out with a bunch, bunch, uh, bunch of weeds. Uh, crazy Dreams. Didn't like losing control. Neil was really into it. Okay, well. Moving on. I'm very interested. Oh. what we find. Let's see what they have on ordinary. Oh, this isn't okay, this is okay. Oh, here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Okay, we're gonna get attacked here. This is gonna be this is gonna be a battleground, I guarantee it, at one point. Stage four is what they were talking about. Stage three. Doesn't say there's a thing here, but it doesn't say much of anything. Stage two, right there, so. Stage one. This is probably where they found where all the bullshit happened. I'd like to know what the bullshit was. This is very interesting. The story in this is pretty fucking cool. It just makes me more and more interested. Oh, did I knock something down? I moved the car. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. And there it is. I have a cardboard tree. Oh, he's a supervisor, okay. Take that, Mr. Supervisor, how about a headshot? Shoot some more of that shit at me. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. They got that right. Well, I broke that house. And that car went right 
Wow, okay. There we go. Ever see Godzilla? <gasps> oh no. There goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla. Turntable, ordinary dump site. Okay. Ooh, another. We're gonna learn more. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. Hmm. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well. She's from another damn... She's from another, I like... see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. They're all it's from like another fucking dimension. You feel like there's a piece of you missing? Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's... this... I feel... an emptiness. Mm -hmm. A yearning for... something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No! Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. Hmm. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? Hmm. You believe Polaris caused? No! It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. Come from the land down under. I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is hmm. going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And Did that she... begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Did she break out of a fucking menstrual institution? Oh, the plot thickens. Dump site, turntable, transit, corridor. Okay, here we go. Another good spot for an ambush. Not this time, huh? Okay. Oh, this feels like it might be. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Huh? Pretty unbelievable. Oh, this is the... Whatever you call it. Dump something work order. Order of Dr. Darling, all the... We're gonna uh, stop if immediately resources will be located to the blank department. Details will be forthcoming. 
This area is sealed. At the end of the month, please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photogra photo photographic slides uh, found in <laughs> the type used in the slide restriction found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Okay. Hmm. Well, that just went flying. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Let the shit begin. Good thing I'm in here. There's a lot of stuff I can just throw at these guys. Bring it. Bring it, bitch. Have a pipe. Get it! Come get it! Get some, bitch! Have a car door! Have a computer monitor! Have your friend! There's a pipe! And they are constantly just coming back. Oh, one of these things. It's a fucking... God, no, no, no. Not giving you the chance. Fuck, I was... I thought I killed it. I got all these life thingies. Oh, great. They're using the chairs. Head, bitch. Fucking killed you. <laughs> I can fly. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I should check the lab too. Yeah, because that's the thing. I don't want to ignore that. There we go. Anything else before I continue? Okay, well let's find out. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when.
Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Hmm. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Oh no. When the brother smiles, you know that's not a good thing.